Hello gamers! I would like to proudly announce the start of a mini-series I had in mind for a while now. Basically, we're gonna be every now and then checking out kinda obscure, somewhat forgotten online games. You've probably um, seen this trend coming up and about on platforms like uh, YouTube. Active Worlds being probably one of the most uh, prominent features, given that game's uh, legacy and history left on um, servers that are indeed still active. So it's sort of a, I mean, walk through history, essentially, seeing all the input from players throughout the years and uh, yeah, basically just uh, uncovering a capsule. Uh, hello, Mr. Rogers. Uh, we are indeed checking out the um, Steam version, which uh, I think it came out fairly recently, but it's based on the most recent build of Meridian 59, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's... I think the officially supported one until they pulled the plug in 2016. Uh, funny enough, um, Meridian 59, which we're gonna cover tonight, it's actually considered to be the first fully 3D MMO. However, what makes it stand out amongst uh, even the contemporary ones is the fact that it's pure first person. Not a minute choice for a this kind of gameplay. Um, shooters, yes. RPGs, not so much, even given the abundance of uh, first-person dungeon claws. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be alone tonight. We're actually gonna be joined by my good old pal, bad Mr. Frosty, who, uh, just like me, has already set up a character. We will be going on through the tutorial of the game. Um, well, a small chunk of it, to be exact. Just about enough to give you guys an idea of what's going on. And then we'll move on to the main game, per se. So, let me hop on the VC And let's get the show on the road. Hello, caller. You are live. Hey, what's up? Well, we got the introductions out of the way. So, yeah. I think it's uh, time for us to get started. I am logged in, standing right outside of the mausoleum. Gotcha. I see that your stream is also live, so um, let me get the chat Muffle pulled chat up. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, funny how... It took a friend of mine who got into streaming like a couple months ago to teach me some of the most basic tricks you can do on Twitch. Like, for instance, uh, tag someone directly linking to their channel. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh, you want to learn the magic? Yes, sir. So when you edit your stream name uh -huh. through Twitch, you basically just add the user. You want oh, to link directly to. Uh, how did we do this? Again? Oh, what? That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it's that easy. One simple trick, and yet it took me that long to figure out. Uh, remind me, how do you make the chat a separate entity again? Um, You can click the cog, and then near the bottom it'll just say pop out chat. Uh, oh, there we go. Lord knows that's going to save me some uh, memory. <laughs> oh, yeah. People be like, why don't you just use a different browser? And I'm like, um, well, well, you know, I've actually did use Firefox for a good chunk of my life. But then uh, Firefox kept uh, getting glitched. So I just went to Chrome and <laughs> never came back, essentially. Yeah, understandably. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna put up the lap out. Um, just so you guys know, uh, getting this uh, game to be captured is a bit fiddly because of how archaic the coding is. We will be <laughs> using screen capture, both of mine and Frosty's end. Uh, just so you can even see the pop-up windows. Those are each their own separate entity. And uh, suffice to say, if I was just to use game capture, it would work fine for the most part, but you just not know whenever some sort of interaction is going on. Yeah. It's a, it's a video game, all right. Oh, this music, it already screams soul. Oh yeah, are you, uh, are you trying to keep it classic, like keyboard only as much as we can? I tried for a little <laughs> while and brother, it's hard to go back to. It genuinely is. That's fair. I, I feel like I couldn't get my sensitivity right for the free look, so I just ended up getting used to the keyboard. All right, that should be fine. We shall be picking Shinto, my go-to character. Oh, there's a fairy floating. I've never seen that. Fay Duraw, dark, mischievous, and ultimately malicious. These imps have but one goal, to bring the Quilisha wood into permanent darkness. So they claim the Veil of Sorrow as their own. They hate their kinsmen, the Fay Elai. Wait, they, they in the tutorial? Water? Yeah, he's floating above the, uh, the mausoleum. I've never seen that. Huh. That's unusual. Just, just a little blue fairy. Or... Right there we go. Now, uh... I see you. Oh, there we are. The question is, how do I... invite you to a... Uh, there is no adjusting mouse sensitive, by the way, so this is gonna be, like, nausea-inducing <laughs> for some. Oh, I see you! Oh my god! <laughs> there we go. I see that the pop-up feature is working. And here he is, the boy I see we got <laughs> the iPad game going on. And uh, <laughs> look at that beautiful hairline down to every <laughs> single pixel. I'm just playing as the, the old man version of uh, the stunt double in Escape from New York. Oh, right. I can't just type in whatever I please. I actually have to input the command first. Yeah, it's that, uh... It's that old school. Fuckers. <laughs> 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 the Chad RP -er versus the Virgin Gamer right here. Boy. <laughs> This is cool. I wonder if I can, like, add you to friends? Wait, can I actually... Stand still for a minute. Okay. I, I want to test something real quick. You are not yet experienced enough to fight other players. Oh, no. Well, I guess that means we have to be either in a PvP-friendly zone or... I don't know, just uh, level up high enough. Tell you what I hate about this game, slight, just very slight uh, complaint is that I don't remember if I had any other quest, and I don't think there's an in-game quest, uh, uh, quest guide, log, quest log, quest book. There is like an online uh, FAQ, how to pass through the tutorial zone, and as far as I'm aware, you're only given one quest, which is to go through the mausoleum. Good, 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 good. But yeah, uh... I think both of us are playing like uh, mixed build. Yeah. So I got two spells on my person. Oh, I did get that. enchant weapon, so I can uh, help myself in combat. However, it's not that easy uh, casting spells per se because you do need reagents, as far as I'm aware. Oh. On top of mana. No. 
Dang, I don't have anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, my connection dropped. Not dropped. Uh, my latency. You don't have the reagents to cast some chin weapon. Yep, there you go. I wonder if I can cast anything. I have haste. Let me cast haste. I think mm, it. Yeah, if you right click on um, the spell you want to use, it tells you what do you need in terms of components. <gasps> oh! Okay. Remember, <laughs> right clicking is your friend in this game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cool, cool, okay. The purpose of this hub is just to teach you how to um, do basic navigation around the game. Right. By the way, when I was first going through the tutorial, I completely missed the mausoleum. Really? Because uh, for one, I didn't know you could enter there, and for one, I didn't go into the shack where the quest giver is. Oh no. Oh yeah, that fairy's still here, if you can see him. Uh, that fairy right oh, yeah. is still up here. Look at that. We have a little uh, SMT fella floating about. <laughs> can I click on you? There we go. Fade the right. Dark, mischievous, and ultimately malicious, these imps have but one goal to bring the Kulisha wood into permanent darkness, so they can claim the Veil of Sorrows as their own. I too love the Veil of Sorrows from um, American McGee's Alice. They hit their kinsmen, the Fey Eli, with a fervent passion. So we got the good and the bad Fey, <laughs> as every fantasy setting should have. <clears throat> I tell you, I just realized how old this game is when I was looking at the box art and they referred to it as a mud. Uh, a graphical mud, probably, at that point. <laughs> it actually predates Ultima Online by a year, which kind of blew my mind. Really? That actually is surprising. How's my... Man, my, my energy's already down to 20. I thought I rested. I guess not. Pretty sure it slow recovers in uh, the tutorial, at least to a certain threshold. Oh, interestingly, I still have the map layout from my last visit, so nothing really changed. Oh, I have some too. Yo, why is this mommy are. cake tough? Look at this oh, deep combat. Nice. nice job. Your Here's reward is this um, high quality JPEG Ruby. How do you pick it up? I can't pick it up. You gotta walk over? You reach for the Ruby, but you can't get past the tail and picking over the loot for the kill. So, I'm assuming if someone already has the menu up, they have like priority and you can't just uh, oh, weird. steal I don't from even each have other. The menu up. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's because you're standing on the corpse. But At you right click actually. on the body and then uh, select the loot. Oh! Oh, okay. I see. Oh! A lot of mummies. Oh yeah, they are they are piling in. Well, they'll just keep up coming. Ah, oh, I love the way these uh, things are animated. There's so much soul. It doesn't really Man, matter if we oh, pick up the one. <laughs> loot or not. Two more. It doesn't stay with us when we move on oh, to uh, the main zone. Nope. Oh, heck yeah. If it doesn't stay with us, I'm going to cast a heal and see what happens. I don't, never uh, cast assuming you have the components. Well, I tried. I have the, the edible mushrooms for haste. I just got to kill this guy first. <clears throat> This is actually not that easy to navigate through. 
But what helps is uh, when you're going through a dungeon, you can see the uh, red dots for the mobs right. and any other player by blue dot. Because I don't think this uh, oh, game has predicted or even uh, accounted for really? with the inclusion of a party system. I leveled up, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what's our goal here? Is there like a big bad at the end we gotta kill? Uh, I'm trying to remember what was the way. Yeah, I, I wish I would have wrote down. Uh, essentially, we gotta find the gate, and then it's gonna have two levers that we gotta pull together. Ah. Uh, so we can open up a door, but um, I forget what was the path there. Uh, let's see. Let's try here. Here. Oh, there's a spider here. Oh. That's new. It looks pretty darn evil. Oh, you're right. This is the kind of soul you miss out on when you play a top-down 2D game. You didn't get to appreciate the full crust of the sprite work. It's true. Jeez, look at all this gore. There's a mummy behind you. All right. Apparently, if you're even close to a corpse, I can't really fiddle with it. Oh. Not like it matters anyway, because uh, we're gonna lose this stash. But maybe I can at least cast an enchant weapon now to get an idea for it. You were unsuccessful in casting enchant weapon. Oh, no, you can fizzle your spells. Uh, well, now I have uh, an idea on what the uh, percentage next to the spell name means. <laughs> By the way, an interesting uh, aspect in Meridian is jumping, which we learn about here. Jumping Meridian 59 is especially tricky as there is no jump cure command. Consider it more like falling at an angle. There will be many places in the world that will require you to leap from one area to the next to cross these areas. Like one ahead, get the running start by holding down the shift key while using your arrow keys to guide your avatar. Just aim where you're trying to land and run from one ledge to the next. If you don't make the jump on your first try, you can go around and try again. So, essentially we're talking um, doom navigation here. Which, considering right. this is the same time as, like, what, um, Doom 2, makes perfect sense. <laughs> they did not yet invent jumping in video games. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if this works like Doom 2, where it's technically just a flat map. It's like, uh, just fooling us into thinking it's a 3D world. I imagine it's just different um, heights of sectors pretending uh, verticality alright, uh, you ready to I pulled it, I pulled it a little early alright, we're, we're gonna go on a free count okay. one, two, three yeah oh, what? Sure. hmm We kill this thing. Uh, hold up. Oh, there we go. Let's try again. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, boy. Yeah. 
the hell is this? A shadow? Whoa. <coughs> oh, shadow mummy. Shadow mummy. <coughs> Nothing like recoloring enemies to give you the illusion of a extended bestiary. Just bring you back. Oh, I see. So this is what this fall was all about. Uh. Well, uh, let's go back to the old man and tell him uh, we did the thing, even though m mummies will keep spawning for eternity. <laughs> I do not remember which house he's in. It's oh, I'm like... faster than you. What? Here. I mm. think I went to the Maybe wall. you have more endurance or agility and has an impact. By the way, guys, look at this freaking Donkey Kong ass rat. Look at this guy. Look at him waddle. He, he has evolved beyond the need on walking on all fours. That's how you know. So, uh, let's see. Do we just say quest? Uh, say quest. Well, he brings up uh, the thing again. If I press F1, okay, that it brings us back to website. Uh, website. Just checking it out. Hey, get back here, old man. All right, let's go to uh, Raza tutorial. Oh, we gotta kill all the monsters in there. Well, no, maybe not. Hmm. Kill some monsters, kill some meat, blah blah blah. Huh. It won't tell you what Maybe you must kill, but the world is well worth it. I assumed it was the shadow, mommy, but. Hmm. Strange. How did you get him to even tell you about the quest again? Uh, I just typed him say quest. All oh, right, say quest. Yes, yes, I need adventures to clear. I guess we gotta kill everything in that room. Uh, walks around the museum, should come across the large wooden door with levers in the side. Complete quest, you must kill the monsters in here. So, that specific room, I take it. Well, maybe we get to uh, acquire a boon that we keep to the hub. Maybe. <laughs> we must go back. It's just like playing on the offline RPG where... <laughs> oh, you miss uh, one singular rodent? Uh, no. Nah. You didn't truly complete the quest. a really long wide path you gotta take yep. and I'm gonna need you here because we need to open up the door again almost there interesting how you need a hostile entity nearby 
just to be able to swing your weapon. All right. One, two, three. Uh, we got like four enemies, so let's get to it. Suddenly feel a little tougher. Nice. Looks like I did indeed level up. Oh, there we go. What happened? Look, the, the pillar is uh, coming down. Oh, you're right. What do we have here? Elder 500 shillings? Lots of uh, reagents. Do you need those mushrooms? Uh, as far as I'm aware, I don't need it for any spell I have. Just need elderberry, orc teeth, and time. <laughs> Wait, how do I trade you? I have a bunch of elderberries here. I don't need. I'm gonna drop these and see if you can see them. Yep, you can drop them. Yeah. Uh, what do you need specifically for any spells? Uh, just edible mushrooms, I believe. There we go. Edible mushrooms and herbs, but I don't think I've found any of those yet. Thank you. Not that I've seen any. Like. Ah, oh, your concentration's broken and blink fizzles. No. No, not blink. It doesn't cast or it doesn't cost anything to cast, so I thought, why not? I guess we got it. You focus your whole will on casting Blink. Uh, well, if it did anything, I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's supposed. Whoa! Oh. Did it teleport you? Uh, yep. Yeah. It just <laughs> <laughs> took a while. But um, yeah, it appears that it's your get out of jail free card. His weird giant rat companion. Uh, I guess it doesn't. I think we did it, but it's not uh, giving us like a completion or anything. Well, we got the uh, chest, so I assume that's that. Must be. How long did you try to kill the rat in here? I didn't, actually. Really? I tried a lot because I thought he was going to kill me. I assume you can't really pull your weapon on him. You can't fight here. No PvP zone. Old man. God, I really like the song that plays in his house, though. It's got that touch. Very uh, runescape in parts. Oh, yeah. I guess we did that quest? Yeah, for... All that matters, we can actually go into the main game now. Through this uh, portal to the nether, right here. Have you uh, checked out the museum? Oh, 
No, I didn't even go in here. There's a little bit of lore around, if you want to check it out quickly. The Veil of Sorrow. It's not that different from exploring like a player guild building and learning about their um, history and endeavors. Oh, this is cool. A lot of these assets remind me of uh, walking simulators I used to play on stream like 21 The World. Oh, yeah. Just because they have that rough JPEG cut around them. Now this right here, that is peak angel fire gif. Oh, 100%. You'd have those like lining the, the, the top of your webpage around your about me description. And that's how people know you were a programmer. Oh, hey, we got a couple of monsters here on display. Ooh, I want to see those. Miniature ever. Whoa! Raise some oh, bird these people. Are cool. Yeah, I like this uh, pterodactyl fella just wielding a pitchfork. Big fan of the Lupog, too. Miniature orc. Fey Lai. And very, very cool. Lupog. That thing is awesome. Th this looks like prime Scrimblow enemy. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Fungus beast. See, this is a pretty cool idea because you just be out picking mushrooms and then this mimic comes to life. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was cool. I like this. Giant ant. Got the spider. And that's a baby spider, too. <laughs> Next to a giant ant for comparison purposes. Miniature giant ant. That's, I mean, I understand what it means, but it's just funny the way it's worded. <laughs> yeah. Giant centipede. Oh, that's just nightmare fuel right here. It looks like um, that one boss you fight down in Lost Eyes with the flame centipede or whatever. Oh, yeah. You're not wrong. It also reminds <laughs> me of the uh, final boss in the overall expansion, who is also just a giant centipede, essentially. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, this was cool. I like this. you got to love how this helmet is about the same size as the breastplate. Uh, I don't think it's hard about it. <laughs> what is scale? <laughs> what is scale but an illusion of perception? All right, you ready to move on? Let's do it. Oh. It gives you it. a warning at first. Here we are. Yeah, there you go. We are in. Now we're free to do whatever we want. An inn. <laughs> Chicken. Platter of drumsticks. De Franco. The Sibilo Creek Inn is a common gathering place for students and scholars from the nearby university, often the site of debate on every manner of issue. De Franco is encouraging and tolerant of any good discussion, though his views tend to be somewhat conservative. You uh, got any quests for us, buddy? By any chance? Um, I guess not. I guess not. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, see. Bye. Okay, maybe you don't uh, 
use inns in a traditional manner, even for Maybe not. resting. The door is locked. Alright, how do we uh, exit? Ah, uh, the door in the corner. Oh, this place is cool. Oh, there we go. This music? Oh, I like this. Yo, let's go. Just take it in. The draw distance is insane. How many players do we have online currently? Oh. I wonder. Me, Who is logged on? Yep. Not a whole lot going on. When I was doing my um, test at first, there was like, I think six people online total. Maybe yeah, a little more. Pretty good bit on. I think I see. Like whenever I first started to play and did the tutorial, there were like people actually discussing things and talking about the Discord and stuff. Like they were getting ready to have some big auction or something. I don't know if you check the community page on uh, Steam, but these guys actually had a chess tournament recently going on in the game. That is awesome. So we're gonna lower the volume just a little bit. Like, let's put it to 60 for now. Yeah, apologies if the taskbar occasionally comes up and down, but like I said, th this is the most optimal way of setting yeah. the game up. Uh, your guardian angel holds you back and prevents you from entering here. Okay. Right, so this is where we start. Uh, what else do we have? Maybe the uh, town hall looking building? Uh, I went into the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same place. Oh, nothing in there, really. Oh, look at this couch. This really Ooh. is like Doom Cute levels of architecture. Just uh, smack a couple of blocks next to each other and have it <laughs> imitate. Oh, whatever whoa, you want it to group? be. Oh, oh shit. Oh, God, dude. All the way down to 2018. This has been going on for a while. Iridian 59 Bards. I want to join the Bards Lore Contest. Too bad I'm about three years too late. Story Contest winners. Oh, this is so cool. November 26th, almost a year ago from the last one. Suspirian is the author of most of these. I, he has good taste in movies. If it's a I see a lot of input from Scribe M. Oh, yeah. You're Bart's right. Tales. <laughs> Haiku Contest. <laughs> For those of you who just don't want to write that much, but have clever little nuggets <laughs> pop out sometimes when your brain is at its squishiest. July 5, 2019. Well, I don't want to alarm you, Frosty, but we're like four years too late. A little bit. No first, second, or third. No first, second, or two are in place. Just write a good haiku, haiku, get it posted, get a gift. That's pretty cool. Somebody wrote a wrote one that says, Nearly nightfall, an epic PK or pillages, despite the hunters. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Meridian Halloween from uh, two years ago. Oh, it's just a poem. I was secretly hoping for like a specific themed event. Dude, there's a lot like these Angels of Darkness two-parters. This is crazy. Stone Judging from the most awesome. recent entry, Suspiria might still be semi-active. It's possible. He might even be like a GM or something. Is there anything else? No for me?
It's like this little side over here. Oh, but that just takes you out outside. Gosh, man. I bet this game... I mean, it's cool now, but I bet it would have been so cool to see these worlds, like, lively and dozens of people here. Yeah. It's, uh, like I said, with uh, Active Worlds, it's neat to you peep that games like that just for the journey uncovering wow. um, lost artifacts but you kind of wish you were there to make a oh, bit yeah, of history so. happen what is this building not a lot in the library Ooh, it's like a barracks Rook, a nobleman and former military officer. Rook carries himself with a stiff dignity. He is a weapon master and makes a living passing his skills on to students in the warrior's path. His feats with a sword are famous and unparalleled. Hmm, are you a vendor? Oh, oh, whoa! Or a quest giver. Nope. Good day, sir. Oh, he's just a rook. No wonder he doesn't have anything. Thou hast come seeking the finest master stone to embrace this land. Thou must now stand before him. What dost thou humbly ask? Hmm. It might be that we're missing some commands, but I'm pretty sure the tutorial teaches you whatever you need to know. I'm looking at that website again. Whomst are you? Solomon. This shop reflects uh, the fine and exotic taste of its proprietor. Solomon has cut the goods and art from unimaginable corners of the known world, and is rumored to have relics and artifacts from even beyond that. Man, you can tell this bozo has an attitude because of all those fucking Mandarin rings he has on each finger. Oh yeah. Someone tells you, I'm feeling a little sick. I don't suppose you could go to the Widow Casino and ask her for a bowl of her special chicken soup, could you? I'd be most grateful. Yo, we got our first proper quest. How did you get that? Uh, just say quest in front of him. He won't, he won't give it to me. Really? Yeah. He'll talk to me, but I just says, "Come on in, uh, come in, Tabu, come in." It's been, uh, it's been so long since you've come to see me. Weird. Maybe it's just a line he drops every now and then, unscripted. Widow Casino. Hmm. Weird. Well, we could have a look around town and see if uh, she's anywhere in this township. What's this place? Yeah, weird. I don't know. He won't give me the quest. Oh, well, maybe it's something to do. I don't, I don't know. Hard to say. There's actually not that many buildings you can enter in this place. Ooh, like the layout of this uh, building. It's pretty cozy. Oh, I'll wait for you down here. There's something down uh, at the, in a hidden area in this home. Ooh. Hey. It 
So, uh, where are you at? I can see you on the map. Uh, come this way. You can walk through these, uh, curtains here. Yeah, been there, but... I figure out... Oh, there Wait, you are. you can go back here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there we go. I, didn't think... <laughs> I just didn't think about going to this one. How did I get in there? Oh, there it is. It's downstairs. Hester Gilk seems to follow your progress around the shop while she turns to work on your sewing. From a very distant end, and her adept sewing reflects a distinct tradition that incorporates functionality with powerful art. The clothes she produces are beautiful. So, are you a vendor, perchance? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh. What the heck is this? Uh, I mean, we could. We, we may as well go. I mean, <laughs> yo, what's up, Bob? It's not like I have many other options. Uh, it just brings you outside. The assassin circle. An assassin circle will be starting relatively, what? Relatively short order. I'm currently accepting would-be assassins. <laughs> Reigning Darkest champion Floki with one, with kill. one kill. All right, Floki, come here. We say that as we give him two extra kills. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's worth it, Gold. This game looks to be pretty cool, but also... I can't seem to find anyone who will give us a quest. And also, how do we get out of here? These doors um, are locked! That's what I'm saying. Uh-oh. It appears we have a bit of a situation here. Yo, what's up, Golden? No, it's fine. I mean, uh, you still get uh, the same audio, even if you just... Uh... Profane message block? Was that you that said that? Uh, no. Uh-oh, do you see that in the chat? No, I don't see it. Weird. Soft lock? I hope not. Because, <laughs> you know, if, we, if I have to like log out here, I don't think there's like an unstuck button. It'd be pretty bizarre, to say the least. He is indeed. I mean, look at my avatar. I'm basically ah, Sagat. <laughs> See you, nerd. All right, wise guy. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I cast a blink. <laughs> ah. So that's our in-game unstuck feature. I wonder what you do <laughs> if, uh, you if you're not a mage build. Or maybe you do have it from the get-go. Maybe. I don't even remember choosing it, but I may have. Well, you see, Golden, the problem Whoa. is I would have to first fuse a Matarasu. Oh. And uh, that takes a little bit of a setup. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. There's really not a lot of places to go here. Well, the only other real option Whoa. we have is walking through the main gate. Or... Two of them, should I say? Well, we'll go through whichever one you'd like. They probably both lead somewhere similar. Do the emblems give any indication where you're going? It might just be placebo too, but it feels like you uh, strafe walk way quicker in this game. Oh shit! Normal walk. Oh, this wilderness music. Oh, I'm coming. I'm excited. That is not a gate. Uh, did you go through the north side? I walked through the east one. Oh, I see it. I wouldn't even know that. Oh, shit. Rat. Come here, you. Go back to DK country where you belong. 
Oh, now this is music. First confirmed kill. Nice. You know, thinking about it, one of us probably should have uh, have gone with a healing spell. I have one. It's uh, not. I have a very low cast uh, percentage for cast chance. I have a uh, minor heal with an 18% chance to actually go through. I mean, if you keep spamming it, eventually you will. Uh, yeah. Eventually, you'll get the RNG on your side. See if I can heal you. Oh, it says you're perfectly healthy. It wouldn't let me heal you. Oops. What's your current uh, health cap right now? Uh, 22. Oh, this is mine, so. I'm guessing the bars can go all the way up to whatever the cap is. With all the brown space. It seems so. There's elderberries on that one dead body there. Alright. Let's keep on exploring. Seems like health uh, regenerates passively, regardless. Yeah, this is this is cool. <laughs> this is the equivalent of walking through a giant hedge maze. Oh, yeah, you're not wrong. Ah. Like all great heroes, we're starting with the basics. Slaying rats, yeah. spiders. Eventually, the game will throw a goblin our way. Or two. Pretty sure that thread dropped like a ring of some sort. Not that I can uh, click on the rat. Weird. Please, spider, die! What the hell is this ring? It's got so much health! Here I go. I see a ring on the floor, but I can't interact with it. Oh, there we go. Signet ring. Family Quest of Malville. Surely its return would be appreciated. Okay, seems like a quest item. Interesting. Oh, we can go back here too. One thing I haven't figured out yet is where is your XP count? I was thinking that too. Maybe it just, uh, maybe it doesn't show it, or maybe it's kind of like Dragon Quest where we have to ask somebody at an inn or a church or something. Uh, the spider won't die, man. I'm gonna die. Hmm. Got it. Oh. Oh, they actually respawn pretty darn fast, these mobs. Oh, yeah. You actually don't want to be hanging out in one place for too long. It is hella mazy in here.
This is like a typical dungeon layout that just circles upon itself. You have improved in the art of mace fighting. Nice. You know, I was half contemplating picking a uh, sword on you, but I was <laughs> under the impression that you were going to go for it instead. Uh, I got some elderberries here for you. We got plenty of those. More importantly, if I could actually cast enchant weapon. Yeah, I've just been trying to heal as much as I can to try and. Oh, get the this freaking spider ruined it. <laughs> oh, I leveled up! I feel a little tougher. You know, it's actually uh, tough to tell if you're casting an incantation or not. Because you don't really get any feedback besides uh, the text. Yeah. Blink was one that uh, I oh. completely thought I had fizzled. I managed to go to a completely new area. Oh, nice. Hold on, I'm gonna kill these guys and get this loot and I'll be right over. Huh. It's very open, however, there is a dude on an island up ahead. Which I'm not sure if I can get to him, but I shall darn try. What the hell are you doing here? Camping oh, in the whoa. middle of the lake. Fangs, there's another player. Oh, I don't know if I can kill this slime. Hey, whom's my Yubi? Bainak, a small yeah, vulture sure like man like stuffed that. in extravagant robes of gold and jewels. He lives in the constant fear of others wanting his treasures. Through his studies, he'll get numerous jewel mines and remains the richest in the land, although his purse is seldom open. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. These enemies are really strong. They're hitting me over like five damage. I'm playing a game of chess with a friend. Would you be willing to courier my next move to my opponent? What is this long distance chess? Oh, there you are. Uh, see, yes. Wonderful. Please tell Jaguar my next move is Queen Captures King's Knave. I often like to play a good game of Feudal Lords with some of my friends up in Barlock. Mayday has the cards behind his bar. Um, what's going on back there? Uh, yeah, I, I told you, I wasn't lying, bro. They were they were whooping on me. They shouldn't be able to come over there. Um, here's the thing: they are slowly but surely getting close. See, I say quest, but frogman. Ah, oh, please tell Lady Afflin. Oh, shit! Whoa, whoa! What's going on? See, no frogger. Your frogger. franchise is dead. I don't know if we can even hit this guy because he's grazing off on my attacks. I died. Oh, shoot. What the? Um, Where am I? I actually don't know. Did you die too? Uh, no, but I am being... You don't want to. ...pursued by the frogman. I'm in a terrible place. Oh, boy. 
I might have to leave this area just to try and reset the aggro level. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. Yonder in of Jasper? Do you remember what town we were just in? Um, no. This one, this but I do have good news. If you leave and re-enter an area, the aggro level resets. Cool. Okay. Also, I don't think the frog people are hostile by default. Uh, the slimes for sure. I guess I'm going to Jasper. I don't, oh. I don't know where else to go. Weird. That that one's like intent on uh, pursuing me, but this one's kind of just climbing here. Hey! Well, fuck it. I mean, we're faster than pretty much every mob we've met so far. What the hell is this place? I am currently inside of a canyon. Uh, well, Jet. And I have moved on to another map. Which uh, so uh, I don't want to do yet. Well, uh, I'm in Jasper. <laughs> Wherever that is. <laughs> uh, the music's really good here. I just found a bunch of other NPCs. Soldier of the Duke's Army. Hello. I'm in a skeleton town. What? Yeah. Oh, I, I accidentally logged out. I wanted to take a screenshot. There's battered and tusked skeletons. They're just hanging out. Dude, I want to go to the skeleton zone. <laughs> take me there. <laughs> skeleton looks awesome oh maybe you're like in a respawn zone where you have to figure your, your way out of there maybe these guys are not great because it's uh they have a notice of delinquent taxes paper it's sitting next to a goblet of wine hey what's up talif we are in fact in the bone zone Frosty just got yeeted into the bone zone while I'm here in the wilderness, uh, admiring this giant centipede. This is the bone zone. They're everywhere. I've only seen one human in this entire town. Can you, like, talk to him? Maybe he's uh, the dude that will resurrect you. Unless you're going to go for, like, a portal. They didn't have anything. Yeah, I went through a portal to get here. I think this is just a town you can come to. I have successfully yeah, I managed to find a colony of uh, giant centipedes. Uh, me neither, Talif. I don't know exactly. What did you say? This predates Ultima Online by a full year, right? Yep. So this is one of the earlier MMOs. I guess, Pretty much online. the earliest proper MMO. All right. Uh, this is gonna. Seem like a terrible idea, but I'm actually going to try and smack this thing. <gasps> there is no fall damage, but I also am not able to get back in the Jasper. <gasps> Wait. Oh, they're pretty rough. <coughs> The music in this game is phenomenal. <laughs> Do not engage the centipedes. You oh, can't no, hurt them, here. but... Uh, oh, oh my god, it's a giant ant. I should probably not fight that. They're thing. pretty dangerous. Loose soil. You're looking at a clump of disturbed soil. Oh, oh. Uh, 
No, please. <laughs> I was headed in one direction. A tree, a living tree, a primordial spirit flows through the dark branches of this ancient man. A forest scent of aged wood, infernal earth tingles your I feel like Frosty just skipped half the game. <laughs> Both to protect the forest is true. I did. I died, and then I ended up in Jasper. So when you die, you go to this place that has a bunch of portals. And that was the first portal I seen, so I just assumed that was the earliest one to go to, and I went through it. Leave it to the man to find speedrunning tech in an MMO. <laughs> oh, these maps just kind of cut off, man. You just pop into another area. Oh, yeah, you don't really know until you enter a new zone. I'm sure way back in the day, those loading screens probably took a little bit. Oh, well, like a full on minute. <laughs> yeah. Depending on the internet speed, of course. Also, computer hardware was a little less generous back then. So this was already peak graphics. Okay, we are in a dark area. Or I might just be getting nighttime. This game does have a uh, functioning day-night cycle. And by that he means it just kind of randomly yeah, goes from a yeah, light to there. dark. I feel like I've been on an adventure. It's like the, those uh, those memes of like the unemployed friend on a Tuesday afternoon and he's just taking an adventure. That is quite literally me right now. <laughs> I'm kind of sad because we were supposed to explore the world together. But... Put a bit of a damper on that. Oh point. shit, I found a fungus beast. And it's. spitting stuff my way. What are these? Snow rat? I can probably kill a snow rat. Can we slay this walking mushroom? Come on, we can do it. Think about all the XP this creature is worth. I can't. This is not good. Oh god, he's he's like walking at me yeah. with such confidence. I cannot cross that. I can't believe Frosty got froged and then he died. I actually did. It's uh, quite unfortunate. How do I target myself? So much enemy variety in this particular area besides the occasional fungus beast among all the centipedes, which are beyond my current skill level. That's for sure. Do you remember the hotkey to break target? Um, I don't actually. It wasn't a tutorial, but I already forgot. How do we even find you? There's no extended map of the world, as far as I know. Uh, that's so, awesome. Better question. How do I return? Oh. Guys, I don't think I can go back the same way I came in here originally. Which uh, poses a slight problem. Unless... Target. Unless this is the way. Target clear is escape. Nope, never mind. False alarm. There we go. He 
do be chilling. The fact that we have frog Whoa. enemies is, is like uh, playing through Simon's Quest, but in first person. Hey, uh, Fang just posted a message. I see that. This guy's playing another one? Wait. No? I found another guy who's playing a game of chess with somebody. Would you be willing to, uh, to courier my next move to my opponent? It's wonderful. Please tell Rook that my next move is Steed to Queen's Priestess 5. Wait, where are, are you currently? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue where this- Oh, I'm in Druid Hills. Wish I knew where that was. I've just been on an adventure, man. <laughs> almost got killed again by some snow rats. Uh, my energy is almost emptied out at three. Now I'm in a place called The Hills. And I'm seeing a giant boulder. Hmm. I found another way to get back to the original plane. Oh, we got that's here. a giant rat! A mutant ant, I mean. I should go that way. Guys, we gotta find Frosty. <laughs> Saving Private Frosty. My energy's almost out. I actually need to just rest for a second. You'd think... You'd get roped back into... The township where we originally started our adventure, but I guess that doesn't count as the uh, outer. Hub. Ooh, maybe I could have, but I have no clue okay. how I or what that what that place was called. Yo, what's up, Greatest Gamer? My uh, energy's actually nowhere near full. I'm, I'm working on. It. Heavy Razor Sharp, this Great Axe is extremely dangerous. Its head can cleave even the thick head of trolls, but I cannot pick it up. It's just there for the core, as far as I'm concerned. Getting some backlog? Heck yeah, dude. Nothing well, like uh, getting some backlog cleaned up. I have entered a new forest, which is some oh, pretty yeah, so great music. Nice. What, for, uh, what place is it? Um, here's the thing. Where can you check the name of the area are you in? Uh, top left, top of your window. Also, I don't blame you, Greatest Gamer. That uh, Spider-Man 2 looks like a blow-up. Mm, top left, you say? Massive blow-up. Yes, sir. It'll say Meridian 55, dash, and then your current area. Uh, do I have to click an icon? No, no, it should just be in the top left of uh, your, like, the actual window itself where you would maximize your closer. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Western Barn of the Twisted Wood. That, that's definitely a place. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, the enemy's here. Yeah, greatest gamer. I've been hearing a lot of the same. Holy uh, smokes, guys, look at these spiders. They even brought back the Mary Jane missions that nobody wants. These aren't even just spiders. They're like spiders it. fused with praying mantises. We it, will we will never really know. Really awesome. Maybe. We will never, unfortunately, know. But hopefully it won't last long. Don't worry, Black Cat is still there. <laughs> yeah, but... Unless uh, they also deflated her uh, backside. No, no, no. She's still, uh, she's still looking good, but... Definitely change it in other ways. I wonder if uh, these NPCs can help you up in combat. I... I'm gonna try and kill one of these ants. Forget it, man. I've already died once. What, what, I got nothing to lose. Uh, have you ever been to the city of Toss yet? No, sir. Oh, I can't kill this thing. Everything's blocked off. Oh, I am in so much trouble. I think I'm. I, I died again.
rip in space. Gazing through the anomaly, you see the lazy happenings in Cablo Creek Inn, or Sibilo Creek Inn. When I get better at this game, I want to try and do like a hardcore Iron Man Meridian 59 run. <laughs> Solo. This game is fun. I just don't know what I'm doing. I mean, that's kind of the beauty of it, isn't it? That is true. Being a noob, accidentally stumbling into high level areas, well, immediately getting destroyed. Uh, I have so currently slow. entered a new town. What, what town are you in? East uh, Ende. Okay, let me get my energy back so I can actually run. And then I'll check all these portals and see if I can come there. Got a pretty snazzy tune playing. It's more of a fort than a proper township. Still, it's got soul. Konima's abandoned dwelling. What place are you in? Uh, East End. With an E at the uh, end. Haha. <laughs> oh no. Okay, there's the Jasper portal. I don't want to go through that again. You have to be a uh, main hub of some sort, which you just wind up in if uh, you die. I'm it assuming looks that. Like hell. There's lava everywhere. I'm assuming that um, is that place function. How many portals do we have? Um, I can access two of them. Oh, what is that? Dead people tell no tales. Who? Oh my god, this game is awesome. Oh, what? What? I'm in the abandoned fountain tavern. That wasn't even a teleporter. I Whoa. Just... What the fuck? I just found a loot box. Nice. Hopefully you get some good stuff. Uh, wand of a prick shock, wand of healing, gauntlets, an axe, meat pie. Nice. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a player that left all of this. Well, shoot. Let's uh, take a sample of everything. Yeah, boy. Oh, more skeletons! This one doesn't have a head and he's bloody! It's time to start it appears asking the, the questions. Holy crap. Is that what I think it is? He talks back! No quest, though. You know, they didn't have to program this, but they totally decided to. Yikes, this replica of a decomposed and reanimated Meridian is disturbingly laugh-like. The Smithy Who Laugh Town probably won't be frequenting familiars this season. Oh, this is my favorite town. This is awesome. Ooh, an orc torch? I've never even heard of Skillot. such a thing. Skillot. Skillot spends all of his time in the company of money and it shows. His hand lovingly caresses the gold of a large dotting smile from his face. Every so often he will jingle the bag just to hear the melodious clicking of shillings. Good night, Chinto. What can I do for you? Quest? Um, Another real player? Bye. What are you doing here, buddy? I'll buy Shing stuff of you for a gem or two. Oh, so this is an exchange booth of some sort. Use the deposit withdraw amount and bounce commands to access your bank account. <gasps> There's a banking system in here. I wonder if there has. Uh, it's probably hey. better interest than my bank's giving me. I just uh, saw another player drove by. Are you in the streets of Toss? I'm in East End. Crap. It's not far off, actually. Over. The courtyard of Blackstone Keep? If you enter okay. the outskirts of Toss, um, okay. it's within the same vicinity, like an off shooting path. So I think mine might be overburdened, because my stamina is just not doing so well.
I think I might have to uh, drop some stuff. Okay, main gate to the city of Toss, is that where the outskirts were? Uh, or is it actually just called the outskirts of Toss? Outskirts. Oh, crap. All right, let me go try a different exit. Can I actually put anything inside here? Do, do, do. Yeah, I definitely gotta rest up. I can't even run. Okay. We just should. Oh, okay. Food restores your uh, stamina. Oh, the the eating sound effects are. <laughs> as soon as I get my energy back, we'll be ready to roll. Well, I'll be ready to hopefully find you. You are too full to eat. I'm happy to say we are the uh, top two streamers of this game on Twitch.tv <laughs> right now. Can't go out that way. Perhaps Who knows, way. maybe you will spawn another revival for Meridian 59. Oh, East Ends. Okay. This is where you were talking about? Yep. There you are. Okay. Finally. You see me? Yep. Hey! <laughs> I've been through Finally a lot reunited. Since each other. <laughs> oh, man. Let me uh, drop some gear for you that I picked up. Whoa. Can't pick it up for some reason. Relic of Kor. This subject bears the marking of Kor. The inscription reads, The true seven shall bring this to the barren place and speak my name. Hmm. Why can't I pick that up? You can't? There it is. Yeah, I think oh, um, no. I might be a little over carrying capacity, so... Y you might want to hold on to these two, because they seem uh, pretty okay. useful. Cool. I wonder, is, is your health full? It is currently. I leveled up and gained one whole point of health. Nice. Um, do I have anything? <gasps> I wanna... There's a skeleton inside here. <laughs> yeah, I told you, dude. These guys are cool. These are the uh, the, the battered ones, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to drop this extra mace. That's probably a lot of weight that I don't need to be carrying around. What the Does this game have a uh, burden weight? Weight burden? Uh, it seems so because ever since I picked up a few items, I've been losing stamina quicker. The Arena of Toss, a proving ground for mighty warriors clashed beneath the watchful eyes of Kranon. Combatants can fight here for the pure honor of victory in combat, as Kranon delivers any true warrior from death at the last possible moment. Ooh, I wonder if we can uh, duel here. Seems pretty. Uh... Cool. <laughs> Yo, whoa. Yeah, dude, we gotta go to the arena. We gotta head down to the arena because let me tell you, the uh, combat music is <gasps> whoa, incredible. Oh, how do we like get down there? I can't go. Um. That's what I'm trying to figure out, because there's a couple of entrances. What's uh, here? I think maybe from the audience seat somehow? This is like old school techno in midi form. 
Yeah, for real. It's, it's a crazy track. Oh, the clapping. The clapping. Did you get down into the arena? Welcome to the arena of Kron. Read the banners for help. Oh, there we go. Uh, when you go on the audience se seats, uh -huh. uh, you can read the banners for tips. Yo, you can do a Royal Rumble here. Rules between bouts, any person may say the name of a combat style to change the combat styles. However, all matches must be over and any current champions must renege oh. their titles. Magic combat are limited between combatants and the arena pit. Players in the stands cannot be harmed by wayward combatants. Watcher reserves the right to make the proceedings more interesting if he so desires. Matches are to the death. However, combatants suffer no ill effects from the arena death. Hey, the watch is right up there, in the gallery. If there is no champion, say champion to claim the title. Uh, all right, let me Maybe try this that. Is like an oh, hail Shinto, the new champion of Kranan. Nice. All right, uh, try uh, saying challenge. Um, oh, th that's not how you spell challenge, buddy. Whoa, I'm here. Well, I guess we fight. No, I can't. Oh, we gotta wait for... Um, other people to join. Ah, gotcha. Fifteen seconds. Oh. Combat will begin my mark. Fight. This is pretty sweet. about as confusing as you think it is. X must do a lot of damage. Uh, probably you have to wait a minute. Maybe you can leave through here. <laughs> you are unable to go anywhere. Standing. Guild for Sis Guild. Huh. I'm not sure how to leave. Maybe I gotta cast Blink. <laughs> that seems to be the answer to everything. Say your hand, the battle has yet to begin. Uh, what battle? <laughs> I 
The battle is already over, my dude. Say champion. Okay, um... Um, my guy. It's over now. You can let me go. Please. <laughs> we only had one contender for the title. The main event is already done and dusted. Oh, I wonder God. if you're stuck there until you lose. Um. And. Oh, there we go. How did you get out? Uh, you see, it's uh, another command. Oh. I thought that it meant uh, foregoing <laughs> your champion title altogether, but I guess it works also to end the um, combat sequence. Oh, that's a pretty uh, fun system. Let's pass the time. Um, I haven't found any quest givers here, so I imagine it's just a uh, pit stop. Maybe so. It's probably like just for the PvP. Oh, there we go. It is a part of Tut still. Ah, blacksmith. Maybe finally I can sell some stuff. Where is or it? Or not. Unless you gotta do the work. I don't imagine this game is advanced enough to have a day and night cycle relevant to NPCs. All right, give me two quick seconds. I gotta go get some food for that. Sure. I'm just gonna peek around and see what's going on in this place. A black rose. Goose feather pill. self enveloping pill looks mind binding. Your love will be more important than your wisdom today. And a strangely blue book. This book doesn't make no sense because there are lots of racy pictures. Oh. Oh, it's one of those. Uh, kind of. Picture books, so to say. Raunchy much. It would be kind of nice to have an NPC that actually is willing to take your stuff. Oh, wow. Now that is a fancy tavern. Yikes, this replica of a thing composed of an animated Meridianite is extremely knife like. Smithy who left town probably won't be frequently familiar this season. Oh, I guess this is what Frosty has seen earlier. Flatter of Rose Spider Eyes. The giant spider is greatly feared by the commoner and is greatly prized by the nobles and adventurers of Meridian. The eyes of the spiders are a rare but favored delicacy. Especially given the difficulty of removing the item from the spider intact.
This looks like a building either GMs or players if messed around with. Oh, we got another uh, dude hanging about. He has been a Marion Knight for 226 years. What the hell is this correct description? I guess it's a combo he once had with someone? This feels like reading through a scrub quotes entry. Right, sorry about that. I am back. I am inside of the uh, wacky Halloween tavern. Oh yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, and there's uh, another dude. Even two now. He hailed from Corner for eight years, a freedom fighter supporting Jonas. What an interesting uh, city this is. Hell? Okay. I guess I just uh, entered an empty mausoleum. Fire. Thank God you're here. I think I'm dying. The Rake Fungus Disease. Go to Tavernus came about a cure for it. Friskoner, the sickly man stares at you with blurry eyes from behind the counter. His breathing is somewhat labored and sweat makes... ...mets his forehead. Friskoner is almost as well known for his keen interest in magical reagents as he is for his... ...dour outlook on life. Right, so he wants us to talk to whoever this Tova is. Find a cure. If you have nothing better to do, shopkeepers are looking for someone to run errands for them. Uh, so? Bye. What's like the command to pull up the uh, vendor menu? Do you remember? I do not remember. <laughs> I'm just impressed you found a vendor. Well, uh, back to the official website it is. Oh, offer. Right. Oh, crap. So, I can get back to the tavern and rest. Offer. Oh, there we go. Let me get my energy back here. I'm going to keep the Orc to send Elderberries for sure. And I get 32 shillings. Nice. Uh, would you like uh, this maze by any chance? Probably not. Oh, the entrance berries are pretty damn uh, valuable. It's like 40 something per uh, berry. That's not bad. There is also a bit of lore here. And the pedal's still in the corner.
still, I would very much like to uh, do some exchanges with an arms dealer. Dude, I love this, like, this inn. It's so cool. It's uh, definitely one of the most intriguing places we've bumped into thus far. Are you um, still inside? Yeah, yeah, I was getting my uh, energy back. Gotcha. Is there a way to get it back faster? Um, you see uh, at the top where you see the two little hands and stuff? Yep. Uh, the two, uh, if you click the fourth one, you can uh, rest, you can sit down and rest. Ah, uh, gotcha. You can't move when it's, it's toggled on, but you do build your uh, bar back faster. Well, you know, we gotta do it the proper way. Like true our peers do, so... Let's chill by the bar. This guy's got the dream job, man. Why couldn't I have been born like 400 years or earlier? And been a yeah. sick bartender who lived to be 40, and people thought I was black magic. I mean, he's got it set up for the rest of his life. A cool Halloween-themed tavern. He's got his own security made of undead. Can't be me. <laughs> I like to think that behind him is just a very um, out there fish tank that's needlessly superfluous. <laughs> Alright, that didn't take long. No, it's not too bad. Got my stamina back. We <sighs> can uh, do a little bit of exploring now. Did you go out the front door? Yep. <coughs> ah, there you are. Oh, yeah, this banger again. Indeed. Uh, I, I don't think you've seen the giant spiders yet. Not the spiders, I've seen the ants. Oh, trust me, you're gonna shit bricks once you uh, meet them. Haven't been down here yet. <sighs> Oh, wait, no, it actually Whoa. brought me back here. Oh, shit! What is this thing? I can't kill this thing. Okay, I, I did get my heal off, though. Did you oh, uh, figure out how to change targets? Uh, escape uh, clears your target, and you just click your spell and then target your Oh, gotcha. Oh, uh, fizzle. <laughs> we have managed to slightly damage the spider. I think I can, uh, potentially kill it with my axe. Just, uh, leave the area. I'm back to full health now. I just have a hard time getting the target back on him. We did. Gotcha. Oh, you probably want to take that axe. It's definitely stronger. Oh, behind us! Yeah. We 
Oh, yep, the, that guy didn't care. Just mosey on. Come on. So how about these air forms keep interfering? Oh yeah. Oh shit. More of them keep coming in. I gotta retreat. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Uh, uh, if you can uh, force some healing, area. that'd be nice. I'm trying! I can't click you! You won't let me click you, you're moving so quick. Okay. Did that get you? Uh, I'm not sure. You said you were unsuccessful. Oh Oops. no, I'm probably gonna die again. It's okay. Oh, uh, I stepped oh. out of the area. I had one HP. It's freaking rat. So if you fizzle your healing spell, sometimes you hurt yourself. Oh. Uh, that certainly sounds old school. Dude, My MP is dead. Uh, what is this no rat's problem? MP. It is hellbent on Minutering me. I can't even attack him. Oh. Well. Now you get to see the death zone. Yo, this portal is hella cool. Oh, I managed to kill that rat at least. This feels like a do wad. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Especially with like the way the lava is. I'm gonna rest. There is quite a few portals for sure. Uh, there's one burn. that doesn't look like a portal. That's the one I accidentally stepped into that got me. You mean the uh, weird purple orb at the bottom? Yeah. It's purple or green, I can't remember. Well, they do make it a little hard for you by actually forcing you to platform in order to reach your destination. Your soul, not you. Still have to recover your stamina. Yeah. Rip in space. Gazing through the anomaly, you can see the fine brownstone in and a bustling bar lock. That's actually where one of the quests is. I don't have two mazes on me. When I get another one, no, 
know, just casually drop it in the nether world. Yeah. Why not? You might leave it there for a weary traveler who finds his way there with no weapon. So this is the Jasper portal. This one takes us to a bustling city, which it doesn't say exactly what it is. It's also incredibly easy to fall. I've noticed. Oh yeah. Yo, who is this weird green wizard? <laughs> There's like a tiny green portal near him. That was the one I went through, I think. That puts you in this place underneath the tavern uh, toss. Ah. Let's see if I can talk to this guy. Seems like a cool fella. No, don't fall. Maneuver. Whom are you, good sir? Dead people tell no tales. Yep, that's him. He's so cool. Um, say hello. Well, he sure is dead. On the inside and the outside. This archway stands cold and inanimate, meaning... Oh, that's the one you can't use. Oh, fuck it. I guess I'll take the uh, small green orb. Abandoned Fountain Tavern. Ah, there's another news group inside. Yep. So these are pretty much uh, global bulletin boards you could encounter in the Ultima. Oh, that! Oh, that classic sludge sound. Wait, does this kind of is a dungeon of a sort? Hey, I'm back. There I have returned is. from my excursion into the underworld. Apparently there's some kind of a penalty for dying, but I died twice and don't, I didn't notice a penalty. If it's loot base, I haven't felt like I lost anything. I def maybe it's um, um uh, XP. Oh, maybe. Who's the schmuck? Keep guard. looking for secrets in these alleyways. Oh, I actually moved on to a graveyard. Oh, nice. Oh, the skeleton. 
Oh shit. They are not friendly. The bones have been rattled. They're pretty strong. <laughs> I went out and killed one larva, and now I gotta rest again to get my health back. I am gonna camp by this uh, cemetery and see if I can potentially kill some mobs. It might take a while with uh, me having virtually no healing. Hmm, might be able to cast enchant weapon. Well, we have this uh, bit of downtime. I sure covered all bases when I gave Frosty all my healing items. <laughs> How did you get to the graveyard? I'll try and help you now that I'm uh, If up you again. see another blue dot on the map, that's where I am. Another blue dot on the map? To the left. It's like a alleyway you have to go into. Oh, I think I see it. Like, pretty much just follow the trail and the edge. Oh, yeah. Whoa, who's this? Skeleton with a... Oh, the, the way he was pointed, it looked like... He, ah! What the heck hit me? The zombie? Oh, God. These guys are strong. Oh, yeah, the, there's roaming undead. And, uh... Contrary to what you believe, they're not exactly super low-level mobs. I may try to cast Enchant Weapon. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to kill this one. Unsuccessful. How much mana do you need? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy, I gotta go. Be uh, rest up. Man, those guys are strong. Yeah, tell me about it. We have managed to hit our first wall. I probably need to spend all mana, I think, that I have. Just for this one level 2 spell. <laughs> try round two. I hope they don't... Oh yeah, I'm still resting. I hope they don't get their health back. Oh god, I'm already almost dead. Well, uh, that went poorly. <laughs> God, I'm so close to killing this one zombie. He's seriously wounded. I mean, I do have... I did it! ...a bit of gold on me. But, uh... I don't know where to buy supplies. Almost died. There's no blacksmith outbreaks in the city, which is shocking.
Let me rest up. We really gotta find a town where they sell armor and weapons. Like even just some basic leather would be a lot at this point. Ooh. I made it to Blackstone Keep. How did you get there? Just follow the main road. Up north. Main road north. All right. uh, oh yeah, I'm resting. Oh wow. Now this looks like a guild's HQ. Whoa. Whoa, wait a minute. A sliding door just to access a staircase, that seems redundant, but hella cool. No, that's, that's very, very necessary. I have no idea what this puzzle is. I tried to click it, I couldn't. Oh, I'm stuck. Don't step on it, you get stuck. <laughs> it's a fly trap for oh unexpected God, visitors. I can't believe you shut it back on me. That guy down there really looks like a. NPC you'd find in a quirky adventure game. Keep guard. Say hello? Mucho grande? Double GG? That's what's up, man. This, this, uh, this song was kind of hard. This game is I awesome. am a fan of the stinky flute. It resonates throughout. And who might you be, my uh, black and white vintage sir? That door is locked. Oh, you're you're all good, bro. We always keep it goofy around here. Whoa! Who is this guy? The 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 feast. Oh, oh this is a statue. This, oh, this is a feast. What is that? Ladder of raw spider eyes? Don't mind if I do. Yummy. What? What is this? Oh. Roast pig. You, Not many wild spiders are seen in the vicinity of Tusk, perhaps since they know. The Duke's favorite meal is a we handsome portion of golden apple episodes. glazed with roast pork. Oh, Paddock's brother's up here. He does not have a quest. Choose your dish. Chicken drumsticks or spider eyes? For me, it's the spider eyes. It's an acquired taste. Has to be. I feel like I've stepped into another arena of sorts. Oh. And who might you be? Rickshire. The younger prissy and less competent brother of Paddock. I don't 
remember how to get out of here. <laughs> Well, to be fair, this place is huge. The east wing of the keep is closed by the Duke's orders. And here is the Duke. What's this cloth? Whoa! Yeah, the Duke's room looks awesome! Yo, what's up, Ronan? Duke Acardius. Despite being only 16 years old, Duke Acardius skillfully maneuvered himself to position to succeed his murder uncle. The young Duke simply radiates confidence and power. Rumor has it that he is a zealous devotee of region, his cunning smile suggests the manipulative, deceitful aspects of a trickster god. Despite his lavish and very public displays of murder his uncle, these are some who doubt the sincerity of his grief. Hey, what's going on, Ronan? Yeah, this game's definitely got some, uh, some, some bangers, for sure. I think the music's been the highlight, and I don't even mean that in a bad way. I just think the music has been that good. That is definitely a soundtrack you wanna look up on your own. My subjects have a need of curious. Should you prove your worth to them, I may be inclined to pay you attention. So he's like a potential quest giver if we make it high up the ladder? Maybe. Oh, that was a good one. You may take your place among the other petitioners. I'm gonna work on the assumption that we can't really do much with this guy for the moment. That door is locked. Nope, uh, he so does not locked. want us snooping around. This m probably will be an important place as we get a little more f important. <laughs> so far, we have yet to uh, successfully complete one quest. I haven't even. Well, I got two quests, and they were both about uh, continue. I got to rest. Continuing somebody's chess game. I've seen one about chicken soup, one about uh, the chess game, and one about uh, getting some kind of cure. Uh, the problem is you don't really keep track of ongoing quest lines. Yeah, that is a bummer. That is a bummer. You can't then, so all the stuff in your hands is scrapping your style. Hold up. What about now? You're sitting right now. Let's not take this getting down stuff too literally, okay? <laughs> you swallow your pride and get down to the, the, the in your in your head. Uh, is my character actually moving while I'm dancing? Uh, yeah! How did you do that? Uh, actions, dance. Oh, up at the top! You can also change your character's you uh, facial expressions. <laughs> Busting a move. Uh, you get an equip items that you're holding. Oh, poop. Alright, uh, unuse. Unuse. Can't hit the gritty unuse. while carrying an axe, apparently. Dance. 
Yo. You swallow your pride and get down in the ditty in your head. <laughs> What's better than this? Just guys being dudes. Just guys being dudes. Can you do the hand wave? Wave. There we go. That was extremely basic, like maybe two frames of animation. <laughs> what about a uh, point? Oh, there we go. I know what you are. <laughs> he do be busting. That's great. I really like how this place looks during uh, the morning hours. Oh, 100%. The lighting on the uh, end back there that goes to the guild is fantastic. Who needs ray tracing? Right? Alright, so this is the keep area, and that's probably how we exit. No, oh, yeah, there we go. Wait, where did you go? Uh, the west side. <coughs> oh. There's like three different ways to move. I think I went the wrong way. Are you in the main gate to the city of Toss? No, I'm here. I see you. Oh, man, the blue dots are so small, man. I had to, like, squint to see you. This is how you originally got here, by the way. 